part by Super D Drugs. For all your prescription and over-the-counter remedy needs, conveniently located at 10th and Topeka, on your way to and from anywhere. Open till 10.45 p.m. every day of the year. Super D Drugs is proud to support KTWU and encourages others to join them in providing public television for Eastern Kansas. Washed by the warm waters of the South China Sea, a mysterious world of plants and animals lives by the pulse of the tides. A saltwater wilderness yet unspoiled by the hand of man. It is a place of peace, of solitude, a realm of tranquil beauty and harmony. Where the daily survival of bizarre creatures is ruled by the advance and retreat of the water. between land and sea and discover the strange creatures of the mangrove. Geographic Special, made possible by a grant from the people of Chevron. We're proud to bring you television that brings new worlds to your world. The vast tropical island of Borneo is blanketed by one of the richest carpets of vegetation in the world. Part of the narrow belt of rainforests that ring the planet and cover three million square miles of the Earth's tropics. Situated between the Asian mainlands and Australia, Borneo, the world's third largest island, lies astride the equator. Dense jungle stretches unbroken for thousands of square miles. Twice a year, heavy monsoon rains buffet the island of Borneo. Torrential downpours drench the forests, washing fertile soil and organic matter from the mountainsides into swollen rivers.
As the raging waters near the coast, they slow and deposit a rich cargo of silt, an anchor where new forests take root, mangrove forests. As they invade the sea, an army of trees transforms the coastline. Cradled in a bay on the northern coast is the tiny island of Siaru, where one of the oldest mangrove forests survives. A patchwork of greys and greens, sunlight and shadow. This in-between world is neither land nor sea. Beneath these stilted parasols, amid the tangle of roots, live some of the most unusual creatures in the world, each adapted to survive here. Native only to Borneo, the elusive proboscis monkey spends most of its life high in the branches of the mangrove. Although much of each day is spent in the trees, the proboscis has had to adjust to a life both in and out of water. Their habitat is inundated daily by the tides. Skillful swimmers and divers, they can cover short distances underwater to avoid danger. Like many of the animals here, their ancestors once migrated across a land bridge from Asia only to be stranded at the close of the last ice age when great glaciers melted, raising the surrounding oceans. Twice each day, the pull of the moon's gravity forces seawater to flood Siaru's maze of channels. Here, plants actually thrive in the inhospitable conditions imposed by the sea. Animals in the mangrove must follow the lunar rhythms or perish. As the waters recede, fiddler crabs, named for the prominent claw of the males, emerge from their burrows. Part of a large resident population, they lose no time feeding on the scum of nutrients left by the retreating tide.
As they feed, they sort out edible matter and quickly discard the rest as pellets, which contain nitrogen and carbon. These are a rich food source for the microorganisms that live in the mud. The abundant crab population is critical to the mangrove, for they recycle both minerals and organic matter. A most unusual adaptation to this ever-changing environment has been made by a fish that spends more time on land than in water. Recalling a moment more than 300 million years ago in the history of evolution, when aquatic creatures first crawled ashore, this mudskipper uses fins and tail to propel itself across the mudflat. Mosquitoes are a constant irritation. To breathe on land, mudskippers have developed large specialized gill chambers, a kind of aqualung, in which they carry a mixture of water and air. Males engage in spectacular ritualized battles to defend their territory. Oxygen is not only necessary for animals. Strange roots push up through the mud, often far from their parent trees. Called pneumatophores, they absorb oxygen through tiny pores and transfer it to the main roots, which lie beneath the surface. Without air-breathing roots, the mangrove trees would suffocate in the dense mud. Salt is a permanent problem. The sonoratia tree actually excretes it through special glands in its leaves. Seedlings of the rhizophora develop while still on the tree. Then drop like spears into the mud below. They rapidly take hold and soon sprout new leaves Crop roots radiate outward and down into the mud, trapping sediment, gaining a foothold. Slowly, steadily, the mangrove forest advances. Overhead, large fruit bats called flying foxes roost until nightfall. Using their great wings as ventilators, they fan themselves against the intense daytime heat. <laughs> 